Good day everyone and welcome to Lunken Place Prison Architect. So guys, um, we're back and this is now the second episode of this uh, new series. And uh, as you can see we have our 8 prisoners and they're doing fine. Uh, and we got an income of uh, 983. So now that we have our basic prison set up, I think the next step uh, next logical step is to uh, start expanding our prison uh, to try to get more income uh, to be able to hold uh, to be able to hold more uh, prisoners and to uh, get some sort of uh, actual work done so that uh, you know there's like you know leading towards the end game so um, there's a lot of steps before that but uh, I think we should get started and um, Something we're gonna need to do is um, going to reports and let's check out what types of staff we have right now. We have a lot of workers, which are fine because we need uh, workers in order for the building to proceed. We're gonna be doing a lot of buildings, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna need a lot more. We do. We are gonna need more guards and more staff, as you can see uh, in 17 hours. There will be more prisoners being uh, brought in. Uh, currently, I actually have uh, non-stop prisoner intakes, so every uh, 24 hours or so, uh, there should be new prisoners coming. Um, I'm going to keep it that way, but uh, if I start losing room and I don't have any uh, room to keep them, I'm going to stop and uh, prevent them from coming in. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have a lot of problems with control uh, going on. So uh, let me see, uh, let's hire one more guard, um, we got one out here, which we don't really need, oops, Ooh, I thought right click cancels, alright we'll keep two guards then, um, so as you can see there are these different uh, types of uh, people that we could hire and each of them allow us to do another task, so um, what we need to do is we need to unlock uh, bureaucracy and in order to get bureaucracy we need a warden as you can see you can hire one so um, in order to get a warden we need to build him an office so um, I think that's what we should do next in fact I think we should uh, build a couple offices not just one because um, we're going to need some other uh, people as well so um, I think I want to have the offices here and maybe stretching this way and keep it so that it's expandable. If the warden's office is this big, uh, I believe it needs to be pretty big. Uh, yeah, let's go with that size. Um, and then the other offices don't need to be as big. Let me just quick to see what, what the sizes are actually. So the rooms, office, uh, minimum size of 4x4, four four. so yeah, that, that is definitely really big. Um, let me see what else I could do. Maybe it'll be like that. Oops. Why am I not building? Oh, that's, that's why um, I had the wrong menu selected, so there I selected that area and now that's probably made it. let's just make it all square I don't care if it's too big um, so let let's let them build this uh, and since these offices are outside the building we could just have regular doors so in the objects menu I'm gonna grab a few doors uh, in order for this foundation to complete we only need one but um, based on how much room the warden's office is gonna take I'm going to uh, Let's see, I think we could actually hire him now. Yep, I hired him. But I still need to get him an office. So, the warden unlocks all the other branches of um, management and all, all the other stuff. I see it. it's a new layout now. I think that's from one of the recent updates. Before it was actually, the warden was here and it was kind of going this way. Um, so, we need security. We need to get the chief of security 
uh, which is uh, which is basically the person that oversees all of security. So once we unlock him, uh, then we could um, have all of these additional things uh, uncovered. So for example, like CCTV, so that we don't need to have active guards and also dogs, which are going to be much more important now because they're able to smell uh, contraband like uh, drugs and uh, others, other things. Also, dogs are able to find uh, tunnels that are underground from prisoners that are uh, digging out. So yeah, we're going to need all of this eventually. And to do that, we need the warden. And I don't know if I need to have an office right now. Let's see. Um, I'm going to click on him. Oh. Okay, so we could just click on them right now. I will do these two right now because we need the finances. This person will uh, help us make it easy uh, to get more money and find us more loopholes and stuff to uh, reduce our tax payments. Um, later on, we're gonna need this per uh, this person, which is uh, the health department. They'll help with uh, healing all the injured uh, prisoners as well as uh, of, uh, officers so that's something we're gonna have to add but before that let's get this uh, started so um, I think I could just go and make this all an office um, before that yeah I think we could just make it the whole thing an office and then split it up that's fine and what does an office require? Um, where is it? There it is. Uh, office requires office desk, chairs, filing cabinets, and has to be indoors, which is obvious. So, why did this wall end up like this? I think it's because I went outside the line. So, not a big problem. This whole thing is an office now. And Offices need to be four, uh, four by four. I'm gonna since the warden's office is gonna be bigger, I'm gonna make that one a little bit bigger. So like that big, and then uh, let's make this the. I want this to be the office for the police chief, and then these ones one, two, three, four. These can actually just be 4x4. Four four. And this one's gonna be too small, so let's expand. What did I do? Oh, let's make a foundation first. Okay, so we're gonna need some doors because these guys are now trapped in here. And I want all the doors facing out. So you don't have to go through each other's rooms to get out. These are just all uh, personal preferences. It doesn't have much of an effect in game, but uh, I just like seeing it look like that. And another thing I've seen is because um, uh, prisoners during a riot or something, they would come and kill, uh, like basically officers and uh, even the people working in these offices, and that is not the best thing since uh, like they would die out so in this design they're outside so if a prisoner is outside they're way more likely to escape than to actually come in here and cause any problems so I'm okay with having it like this next let's do the utilities we need to bring in power into all of the officers and we could just bring that straight in since we already have it set up nicely so uh, while my guys go and bring and finish off the doors and everything, let's add the chairs and the desks and so on. So let's see what we need. We need office desk, chair, and filing cabinet. So let's grab the desks. Um, there it is. So let's spin it around and place it here, 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 here here okay next we need a chair is there a specific office chair or is it just a chair 
I think it is just a chair. And let's face it to the desk. I kind of wish you could center the chairs, but it's fine. So chairs go in and then filing cabinets. Which I'll put. Oops, I think that's gonna block the door. While I'm on, while I'm at it, I'm gonna demolish this wall right here. Although I'm not sure if that demolishes the wall or the whole foundation. I'm not sure. Let me see. Because uh, I know they have the demolished walls one here, which would be more practical. Hopefully, they demolish the walls and not the foundation. I can't tell the difference, so I'm hoping that they're doing the. Wait, actually, yeah, they demolished the foundation. <sighs> That's gonna be a problem. So let's. I wonder if this will fix the problem. No. No more. Let's just leave it like that, and uh, if if the room doesn't take effect, then we'll know there's a problem. Next, I'm gonna fix the fix this. I, I realize now that uh, we need to do this after afterwards. So we'll do it. Um, let's see. Okay, this is the office. This becomes automatically becomes the warden's office. This will be the second office, which will later on be the police chief's office and these will just be additional offices that we'll uh, need later okay so um there, sh there should be doors here i don't know if they're just not gone to it yet or if uh yeah they haven't gone to it as you can see it's all in the queue um one thing i noticed about this game uh one problem is uh, when the queue gets a little bit long like it is here uh, they kind of get confused and they try to do stuff that is inside while the thing that's on the outside doesn't uh, isn't done so they can't get the inside stuff done either so um, see they're kind of just wandering around they're not doing any of the tasks and if you go to reports you kind of uh, see the let me see the queue I actually don't even remember where the stuff is. There it is, jobs. In jobs, it kind of this gives you a list of the stuff that needs to do. And as you can see in the bottom of the list is install doors. Which kind of, um, which makes sense because I told them to install doors first. Uh, but at the same time, the AI still isn't smart enough to realize that in order to complete all of these tasks, they first need to install the door so they could get into the rooms. So, um, so even the ones that the doors are installed on, like these ones, they won't do any of the, this stuff until these filing cabinets and stuff are put in. So it's just all stuck. So um, best option I found is at that point to tell them to install another pair of doors. Um, let's try to maybe remove the doors that's there and then tell them to install it again. Hopefully that will help. If not, we'll just tell them to install a different door or we could just ask them to demolish a wall and that might help. Nope, they don't seem to be moving, so... Let's try that. Hopefully this guy is moving towards this. Nope. Oh well, uh, we'll see what happens. Sometimes they just take some time to take care of stuff. So prisoners are all sleeping except for Edwards who is just annoyed that he doesn't have privacy. So um, let's see, staff, I think we should be able to hire the, to the bureaucracy. We got two more hours on the security and then they'll start the finance. At least we know um, 
the chief actually the warden has an office the chief's office not done yet yeah I'm just trying to figure out why this job is cute but they're not doing anything could it just be that there's so many so much garbage for them to move around that they haven't gone to this yet okay, let's ask them to demolish this wall right here okay, he's doing that so now that this is destroyed I think I think the guys are kind of springing into place they're starting to realize that they could do stuff now oh yeah look at that so yeah I think it's a small bug in the game nothing too serious maybe if you don't know how the AI works it might be a little bit harder but um it's just the queue they don't the guys don't really know how to figure out what's what's causing them not to be able to uh, build so they wait for some something to get done and nobody does it so they're just hanging around until you tell them to do something else that will allow them to uh, proceed. So this is done. I still don't think they're doing anything here. So um, if not, I'm gonna have to make make another hole here. Which what I'm just gonna do? I don't wanna wait. And <laughs> that door. This <laughs> they put in the four doors now. So I could remove one. I'll remove this one. Um, object, dismantle object. And once I've done all that stuff, that I am gonna fix the walls up too. So, brick wall. See, this icon tells you that it's blocked. They can't get to it, and that's why they're not doing it. So, um, in this case, I think it's just because they they have other projects ahead of that see now they're putting the door in and they're coming from the inside when they could have come from the outside so um, yeah these are the stuff that they still need to fix um, I'm sure it'll, it'll eventually get fixed I mean it, it is something that may uh, annoy someone especially if you know they build really fast like I did um, where if you're gonna build a whole section at once it does really matter um, but if you're doing, for example, like one room at a time, then it's not a big problem because you would normally build the room and then put in the door, and then that room becomes available after you put in the door. Whereas here, I built multiple rooms at once and then I put them in the door, and they kind of wanted to finish building the rooms before they could even get in. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So our security is done now. So I think we could hire chief. So let me just hire chief and drop him in here and this becomes the chief's office which is pretty cool and now if you look at uh, bureaucracy you can see these ones are now available for us to buy um, I need um, let's see controls I need deployment and patrols. These are the two I need right now. Um, the contraband is a problem, but it's not a major problem right now. Uh, but I, I will need to be able to uh, deploy like CCTV systems as well as uh, patrols and in the future dogs. So they're all working on that stuff. And while they're working on that stuff, we got three hours left before prisoners start coming. Um, as you can see we have plenty of beds left so we should be okay for the next round uh, after that we might start facing some problems so I want to start building the cell block A let's first see if there's any grants that we could get because I, I'm pretty sure there's some we are right here administration center we need to, in order to complete this we need uh, to build two offices to hire a warden and uh, after we hire the warden to unlock finance and to hire an accountant so we did get the warden next we need to uh, we're un in the process of unlocking finance I think we have a few hours for that and through that to get the accountant so we're almost there 
and um, I also use the grants as a way to see kind of what the game wants us to do next. So um, another thing we're going to need to do in the future is to do the health and well-being, which is something I mentioned earlier as something I need to do. Um, prison maintenance. I, I'm not familiar with these ones. We have to. I'll read them later. Um, one thing I do want to do. Why is this locked? Okay, so cell block A is not available until you hire finance, which makes sense. Uh, but I'm gonna get started on that because I do have twenty-five thousand dollars available, and in order to like this cash flow will increase as I get more and more prisoners. And the problem with getting more and more prisoners is that I don't have enough room to keep them. So let's kind of decide how we want to build now. Um, I am kind of a fan of building in like separated blocks so I think that's probably what I'm gonna do um, it makes it easier to kind of have their own separate things for for example like if if I bu build a cell block here then I would have a kitchen for them and a kitchen for uh, and a shower for them and so on so that they are separate from the rest so if there's ever a riot it would probably only occur in that single area and not the whole prison at least that's my logic. So um, yeah, let's build our first cell block around here. Start building here, and then um, as we expand, the yard will go away, and then maybe we'll move the yard here or somewhere else, or we might have the yard in between each of the cell blocks, which I've done before, and I kind of like the look. So um, yeah, let's go into planning mode because uh, when you're building things as big as cell blocks it's easier to plan things out first and then build so you know that saying you know measure twice once kind of like that um, so just as a basic uh, the basic requirement for a cell I think is 5 by 2 or f something like that um, cell oh sorry three, uh, 2 by 3 so I don't know where I got five from. That's weird. Anyway, uh, two by three. So two by three is basically let's plan this out. Walls. So I kind of want the the sub the new sub block to go from here and up and this way. So if there was a cell here, then it would be three spots and then this wall and then two this way and another wall here so as you can see this is a individual cell so now we need to what I normally do is I kind of build big so this, kind of, this is uh, kind of really big so let's keep it like keep, let's keep each cell box this big uh, you know what before I draw this Let's see how. Let's measure this out. So two. I, li I like having two with uh, wide hallways, two block wide hallways, and one, two, three, and then so this would be the wall. So that's why I didn't draw it because uh, it would have gone one over. So now that we have that, now I could draw. Um, there that's basically how it will look and I also kind of draw reference points to kind of give me an idea of how big each room is uh, each room are and um, if I will need more rooms or not so this as you can see it's uh, evenly divided sometimes you might get to the end and realize that you only have one block left so uh, in that case, it's so much better to have done this planning stage rather than ordering them to build right away. And uh, that would cause so much more distress. So let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Okay, so we got ten, uh, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, ten, which means with both sides, is going to be twenty. 20 uh, prisoners per cell block um, and I believe we get 8 prisoners per intake so more than enough um, 
right now we actually have uh, we we just received our um, new prisoners which is eight more so yeah I think this is fine uh, currently we have 16 prisoners and since we have 20 uh, room for 20 prisoners this cell block will be good enough now that our planning is done I think we could do the foundation so I generally do the foundation for this entire block at once and as they do that I'm gonna put in a door jail door one thing you'll notice is that I never put in um, I never like connect this cell block or any cell block that I'm building to the rest of the prison until it's complete because um, what I've noticed is sometimes you may make some sort of mistake and you might order somebody to break a wall or something like that and if it was connected to the rest of the prison as soon as the prisoners see that there's an opening they start running towards that opening and it causes so much problems uh, because you, then you would give the order to build that wall up before they come but because of the way the queues work it never happens so um, let's let that build out and auto save so I think let's check with the bureaucracy let's see if this is done alright so the finance is approved so um, let me hire the finance person and staff the accountant okay and this will be the accountant's office alright so we now have an accountant and which means in bureaucracy we take some of these ones now um, extra grant probably the extra grant one uh, the other one land expansion I don't really need right now because I have a medium size plot and there's so much room here um, what else uh, I don't need any bank loans I think I'm doing okay on money and income so for now I'm good tax relief that's something I do want to work on but as you can see the cost of the tax relief is really high so I don't need it right now because I would take half of our money right now so okay they finished the foundation so let's start building inside of the prison so when I'm building on the inside of the prison what I like to do is I, I kind of build inside out so I would start with the bed and the toilet and then the plumbing and then the rest of the stuff so actually so, uh, you know what I'm gonna start with the plumbing first because we kind of have an idea of how it's gonna look it's not difficult to do the plumbing so let's bring the pipe right on through as I stated earlier I like bringing it straight through and it makes it slightly easier to work with then I have the electrical going through the middle and I have water running on two streams one going this way and let me see yeah so I got I have the water running all along here and also running from here all along all the way up Oops. yeah I tend to move around with my uh, my view so I might go off camera sometimes but um okay so that's how I want it to look and when the, all of this is done when I put the plumbing in later so the toilets need all of this water so I find that it's easier to do it this way than to build one line going down the middle and then splitting it sideways um, I don't know if in later word like new versions they might have changed the way plumbing works so that like this small pipe can only support so many uh, devices but if that's the case then I will um, redo the plumbing and in which case I would use the large pipe going down the middle and then small pipe splitting uh, across which is usually what I do 
but uh, recently I found that this way is so much easier and uh, you just it's worth the cost so um, I'm gonna let that install and I see that we're kind of getting close to our time so I think this is a great place to start for today um, uh, I think we're in a good spot that it's next episode we could finish off the cell block and uh, I did not get to check out the shower I, I remember we had that problem before uh, if so I'll, I'll, I'll look at it off camera and see what's going on I, I think it's just we don't have enough trains um, but yeah, that's that's okay. And uh, yeah, so we're in a really good place right now. We built our offices and we've, we started construction on our first cell block. And we'll continue this soon. So thank you for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. And share with your friends. Until next time guys, peace.